let's just revise quickly this is a normal curve this is a normal demand curve and we are consuming the quantity m currently at the price p so this is our equilibrium point now if we move towards the right we call it we call it expansion in demand however if we move towards the left we call it contraction in demand the downward or the rightward movement is called expansion the upward or the leftward movement is called the con contraction now let's just take an example our income levels earlier were 13500 and now they are 18500 let's see how our consumption changes with a change in income level at point a when the price of the commodity was rupees 5 we were consuming 10 units however as the income rise we increased our consumption also and it reached to 15 please note that the price is not changing here price is constant it is 5 at both the income levels yet the quantity demanded is changing there is a change in the overall demand again when the price is 4 the price falls to 4 we consume 15 units at our income levels of 13500 and when our income rises to 18500 we consume 20000 units again at the same price that is 4 rupees likewise at 3 rupees we consume 20 units and 25 units respectively at the income levels of 13500 and 18500 again when the price is rupees 2 we consume 35000 units and 40000 units again respectively at 30 at 13500 and 18500 per month salary and finally when the price falls to rupee 1 we increase our consumption to 60 units and 65 units now please note that there is a change in demand change in demand due to change in income levels the demand has gone up the demand has gone up in all the cases the demand has gone up not because of a fall in price but because of increase in income levels now let's just derive a demand curve considering these two income levels separately so we'll take the coordinates as 5 and 10 my coordinate is 5 and 10 so this is my point a the other coordinate is 15 and 4 15 units consumed at a price level of 4 i'll name it b the other is 20 and 3 the consumption increased to 20 units at a price of 3 at the point c 35 and 2 consumption has increased to 35 when the price has fallen to 2 this is our point d and finally 60 and 1 the consumption rises to 60 the consumption rises to 60 when the price is 1 rupee this is point e and when we join all these points we get a demand curve this is our demand curve
Likewise, let's take these coordinates, plot them on graph. Let's see what we get. This is the demand curve that we'll get if we plot the coordinates that we get at the income level of 18,500 rupees. Now, please note that the demand curve has shifted outwards. The demand curve has shifted outwards. So this we call as increase in demand. This is increase in demand. However, if the demand curve would have shifted inwards or leftwards, we would have called it as decrease in demand. See, this is the original demand curve, it is moving outwards, this is increase in demand, rightward or outward shift. Again, this is our original demand curve, this is our new demand curve, the demand curve is shifting inwards or leftwards, this is decrease in demand. 